Last year, I made a video critiquing the atrocity that was the DDRV Alpha, an HTML5 dumpster fire that was a complete kick in the nuts to anyone with a brain that realized it functioned worse than your average flash rhythm game from the mid-2000s. The gesture to keep fans entertained during a very difficult time was there, but its execution ended up coming embarrassingly short. Down the line, I made a video critiquing DDR as a whole and Konami's blatant disconnect from the community, displaying the copious amounts of generic charts, lack of tournament support and knowledge, and how it falls hilariously short to its sibling games in a multitude of other ways, despite being in the rhythm game scene for almost 25 years. I've been given the opportunity to talk about DDR once again though, because well over a year later, they actually went through with updating their DDRV game into something a little more respectable. However, it's not the game aspect I'm worried about so much, but more so why they're working on this again in the first place. In terms of the game itself, it actually looks like vanilla DDR in a decent amount of regards. Song selection, gameplay interface, looks pretty much the exact same. From what it looks like, it's just arcade data ported over to PC, so at least they opted to do that instead of trying to code it from the ground up. The main menu is very bare bones, but the key configuration screen is a lot easier to use, plus you can adjust a few other things. What confuses me the most though is the display versus judgment window options, as the display changes the audio offset, while the judgment one changes the video offset. I ended up figuring out the latter mid-song as I figured it made the timing windows tighter, but I guess Konami has different meanings that I'm just not familiar with. They also offered 15 songs, again. I get it's a temporary alpha, but even then at least give people a bone to play with instead of a few songs and change. Lastly, the game's timing windows do feel just like an arcade cabinet, which is estimated to be around these numbers, so honestly this isn't that bad overall. Although I can't help but think there's no way it took a year to come up with this, as what I think they were really doing behind the scenes was working on this thing. Yes, this three pound soft mat that is kind of ugly to be honest, costs $200 and is only for sale during the exact same time frame as the Alpha Client. This isn't the first time Konami has tried to sell upcharged products to consumers who want to play at home, and given you'll already be paying for a subscription service, this is just unnecessarily expensive and probably doesn't differentiate itself that much in the soft pad market. In my opinion, I would advise against pre-ordering this thing, especially since they're trying to sway you through their PC client that, while it looks okay, is still far from finished. Even if there isn't a way at all to buy this down the line, you're better off picking up a soft mat through Amazon, Marketplace, eBay for half or a third of the price, or even get a hard pad from LTech or build one through the various guides out there. Konami has set decent PC client precedents, SoundVoltex being a great example, but they seem to undershoot things a lot with DDR, so I'm at the very least a bit skeptical. To me, this whole thing just feels like a blatant money grab with not a lot of positives attached to it for the consumer, especially since their pad doesn't even provide a USB cable and has Bluetooth support for some reason, which means you basically can't play any of the previous PS2 games with it. I don't even know what they plan on using the Bluetooth gimmick for, because for rhythm games, that's all Bluetooth is, just one giant gimmick. We saw Rock Band try that, and no one liked it. Maybe they're working on a phone game with copious amounts of DLC you'll have to pay for, Probably, but it just seems impractical either way. Honestly, if this DDR client doesn't come out to what it's supposed to be, and you need an alternative at home, most dance game players are better off with running SM5 and a DDR theme, where they can play all the DDR content they want for free, which, in all honesty, is traditionally the better option since you could play all of your favorite content and more with the loads of customizability that it offers. If you want to even be more specific, you can always alter the timing windows that closely represent DDRs. Again, this is mainly if Konami doesn't deliver, but if they do, that's fantastic, and I'll probably try this out for myself. But as always, this is just my stance on the whole shtick, y'all already know how my takes on Konami treats DDR can be, so just be cautious is all I'm asking. I want Konami to actually succeed and reward their player base with a perfectly sound alternative at home, but the soft match shenanigans combined with everything else points towards some iffy signs at the very least moving forward. Thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel, and if you'd like to support the channel for more content like this, come be a patron of the channel and drop a sub if you're new here too. I'll see you on whatever video I upload next, and take care.